I'm gonna stand back a little bit. This is my hand for comparison size. Quite big projection screen this time. I pushed the projector almost all the way down there on the living room. Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Ryan and welcome to the video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. In this video, let's have a look at this Blitzwolf VP10, a native 1080p projector with some nice specs. Like always, we're gonna start with a quick unboxing and then we're gonna put this projector to the test. And guys, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much for your support. Okay, so without any further ado, let's start with the unboxing. All right, Blitzwolf BP10. And the only sticker we have here, it does say, yeah, 1080p. Maximum power 140 watts, light source LED display technology LCD. Okay, so this is what you get in the box. Power lead, one HDMI cable, a standard remote control. You need to supply your own AAA batteries, very plasticky, typical of these projectors. One user manual and of course the Blitzwolf VP10 projector. He has this fabric on the top. Wow, I like it. And the buttons, the control, uh, the menu buttons there. At the front there you can see the two speakers. One infrared receiver. Let me remove this lens cap made of rubber. In here, of course, we have the lens. Let me try to show you there. LED projector lens, 188 mil, one slash 2.9, and on this side, the same. Okay, looking on this side, we have one USB port, two HDMIs, one headphone jack, one AV port, one micro SD card slot reader and one old VGA port if you want to plug your old laptop. Plenty of ventilation here. On the back you have a kill switch there and here USB and one HDMI. So we have three HDMI in total, another infrared receiver and I like the way it's on the side. For example, if you want to plug a TV stick it will be sideways like that. On this side, this should be the intake fan because look in here, there's a very, very handy filter dust that you can clean. Well, you should at least. So this should be the intake. At the bottom here, let me turn it around. You have this, the razor, so you can raise the front of the projector to raise the projection some rubber feet in here. If you remove these two screws, you'll get access to, hold on a minute, I've got the tool for the job. Okay, so by removing those two screws, you have access to these two little things that you can remove and clean. Okay, so I just figured out another thing. If you remove these rubber feet, from there, you have access to the, um, the ceiling mount, the projector mount, one on each corner. All right, guys, so it's looking good. Of course, here you have your focus dial and the manual keystone adjustment. Let's cover the specs really quick before we plug this. So, 1080p native, 6500 lumens. I know that some of you guys don't believe in these numbers. It is what it is, guys. We don't have the ANSI lumens info, but we're going to put it to the test nevertheless. In terms of contrast, 5000 to 1, and you can project up to 215 inch screen. He has two uh, speakers, 5 watt each. In terms of fan noise, it should be under 46 decibels. And saying that, let's not waste any more time. Let's bring this to the living room. Okay, guys, so the projector is now on. I put it there on the improvised stand and we're going to project that on the living room wall, typical wall, nothing too fancy. I'm going to put down on the screen how big 
the screen projection is and the distance from the projector to the wall so you guys can have an idea in terms of the wall itself as you can see nothing too fancy there's some imperfections there we're going to start our series of tests okay guys before any tests let's have a look at the menus really quick so you have the picture settings where you can customize it if you wish to you have the sound settings and here on options is where you can set your language factory settings we can rotate the screen just in case if you wish to mount it on the ceiling keystone correction you have the digital keystone correction apart from the manual one that i already show you so you have the vertical and horizontal horizontal like so and vertical like so in addition you also have the four point like that or you can uh, leave the projector to adjust it on its own digital zoom so you can make the screen smaller and last one info about the projector let's not waste any more time here let's plug the, my tv box in and see what this projector can do okay so now the box is plugged in and it auto detect 1080p 60 hertz let's start with our normal test i have my own card here so you guys can have the idea of the colors and sharpness i'm going to get closer to the screen all right so let's have a look on how sharp these corners are you know guys if you watch my previous reviews you know that uh, normally the projectors get a bit blurry there on the corners so let's have a look at this one uh, you should read like there and here on the blue circle you should read subscribe I'm going to stand back a little bit this is my hand for comparison size quite big projection screen this time I pushed the projector almost all the way down there on the living room and here you guys hopefully can get the idea of the colors on this yellow circle you should read subscribe and on the green one you should read share in terms of the lines so you have thicker lines here let me try to focus this camera guys so thicker lines here and here you get thinner ones so thinner and thicker here's a good test just to see if you can read it well this all depends on the camera of course but so far i think it's all right and here you have the scales of grace starting with pure black there all the way to pure white let me stand back again yeah guys looks looks good looks good i like it all the way down here hopefully you guys can get the idea how big the screen is at the moment let me turn the living room lights on yeah guys of course when you turn the lights on you lose quite a bit but it's normal with this type of projectors still yeah it's not too bad yeah but to get the full potential just turn the lights off and there you go next let's have a look at some basic colors guys so starting with red green blue and yellow yeah i'm not very impressed with the yellows let me just try to tweak the colors a little bit guys okay so i think it's a little bit better what do you guys think now okay guys let's try now to do a color test here where you can see the reds the greens a bit of everything let me turn the ios on the camera down a little bit i think it's a bit overexposed yeah and here you can see the sharpness on the cat fur and here a bit of the blues as well black and white picture so you guys can have a look at the blacks and whites and here a rainbow of colors some movement here with the colors speaking of movement let's have a look at another test test video and it's a good opportunity to have a look at the a listen to the audio i mean 
you can see the motion blur if it's good or not. So far it looks really good. Yeah guys, so far I'm enjoying this projector from the tests we're doing now. Not too bad. Okay guys, let's just play really quick a 4K video here. Wow, I like it. I like it a lot. Look at the detail, guys. Let's now play some Netflix. A wish? Yeah, 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 a wish. Excellent. Yeah, guys, this is the right way to watch movies. Massive screen. Yeah, the sound could be ever so slightly louder. Okay, so next, let's bring the decibel meter. Let's see how loud the projector fan really is. So I'm going to be quiet for a while so you can get the room noise. Around 33. So let's turn the projector on. Okay, so the projector there, so on the side. Top. on the back here and if we move forward let's say one meter now it's around two meters away from the projector yeah guys from previous models this one it's quite good in terms of fan noise of course you can hear the fan but it's not too loud in my honest opinion okay guys so let's see how loud the projector will get yeah guys in terms of the sound is not the best i've tried but I must say it's um, it's good enough. Let's put it that way. Next, guys, of course, we need to try some gaming on this projector, massive screen. Yeah, guys, this is the right way to play. All right, let's play another game. You guys can see the motion blur. Yeah guys, let me know down below in the comments what's your opinion about this projector. All right guys, let's wrap the video overall in my honest opinion for the price this might be a good option i'm going to leave a link down below so you guys can check it out i tried to play some files from a usb stick and it was quite picky i managed to play some 1080p files but that was that nothing more yeah guys if you're looking for something not too expensive this might be a good option for you hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did click the like button and please guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel Thank you very much for your support. Like always, guys, thank you for watching and hope I can see you all in the next one. I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities I see the world through ice covered in pink and bleach Cross out the one